There were no red flags at the start of Stephen Talisky's COVID diagnosis. Maybe just a little headache and the likes. But as the days dragged on, his symptoms became worse. And then walking up the stairs became a little, little bit more of a challenge, walking to the fridge and I was huffing and puffing, my heart rate started to go up. One week in, the 33-year-old was hospitalised and his condition continued to deteriorate. Remember the nurse hitting the, the emergency buzzer in the room and then all the big doctors kind of flew in. He was moved to ICU and placed in a coma. When that support wasn't enough, he was treated through extracorporeal membrane oxygenation, or ECMO. It was 84 days before he woke up. And then you just think, you know what, I didn't see a Christmas or a, or a New Year. And yeah, then that was, slow. that was a slow process to, to try and um, yeah, process all that. Stephen is one of 64 COVID patients in Victoria who've used the machine. It does the job of the heart or lungs, buying time for recovery. Of patients that required mechanical ventilation. So that's, um, people will be familiar when you use a ventilator and a breathing tube. Um, so if you look at all those patients, about four or five percent of them uh, were suitable for ECMO. Typically, ECMO is used for up to 20 days. But with coronavirus, the length of time was extended, each patient spending some time in a coma. We had two patients over 100 days of support. It is reserved for the most extreme life support, but everything carries risk versus benefit. And so you have to make a decision at that particular point in time that the risks of doing ECMO um, are less than the benefits. Some of the patients are still undergoing their recovery and are, and are not out of danger just yet, um, so I have to recognise that. But the rate of successfully being liberated from ECMO was 83%. After waking up, it was another two months before Stephen could return home. Other than trying to get a little bit of fresh air outside now, I'm back home, which, which is good. So I'll slowly start to try to transition for now, he'll be following doctor's orders. Sarah Jane Bell, ABC News, Melbourne.